Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. Today we are going to find out what are your important love messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not apply to each and every one of you. <clears throat> my apologies for my voice, Aries. Spirits and angels, please show me important accurate love messages for Aries today. Show me more. Aries, bear in mind that roles can be reversed in this reading. Could either be your person you are thinking about, or it could be you. Okay, let's see. So four of cups, eight of cups here, and reverse. Aries, there's somebody whom is very dissatisfied with other love offers. I feel because they still can't move on with eight of cups here and reverse. But we've got the Queen of Swords here. This may indicate an energy. It could be you or your person, but this is a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius can also be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm seeing a lot of cups here. Could be somebody like you are Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, okay? Roles can be switched in all my readings, uh, Aries, so just take what resonates with you. We've got the Queen of Wands here, so there's somebody still very interested, okay? Wanting to offer love here, but the other person still hasn't moved on, as in hasn't moved on from what had happened in the past, still hasn't forgotten, and still is angry, okay? Queen of Swords with a sword is up. It definitely indicates somebody being defensive, angry now they found out the truth or could be truth or realization and also finally setting their boundaries and not wanting anybody to walk all over them okay we've got the temperance here emma verse yeah i feel like there's still this person finding it really hard to forgive this person for whatever they did in the past and temperance and reverse also can indicate disharmony not at peace um lopsided kind of relationship one person may have been more invested than the other and two of cups is in my first year this again indicates a separation between you and somebody here but this could also be a demand because queen of swords can be quite demanding perhaps demanding for something to be cut off okay or a connection could be anything but this this is just for some of you if you're in a third party situation because you know what, sometimes I do read her as a, the other woman or the other man. Only if you're in a third party, okay? If you're not in a third party situation, I just feel like somebody is resisting a reconciliation with the Two of Cups here in reverse and the Temperance in reverse. Res resisting reconciliation because they are dissatisfied for whatever that's happened in the past. Still can't move on from some sort of a hurt and pain, okay? So let's see more. The sun is in reverse, some things are not being made very clearly or somebody is just very unhappy or feeling very pessimistic in regards of their love life or in regards of this person, okay? We've got the, the ten of wands here in reverse. This to me indicates somebody is sick and tired of carrying this burden and just don't want to carry it anymore. Almost feeling like I'm done, it just doesn't make me happy so I'm just going to throw all the wands on the floor, I'm no longer going to carry it. And with the Magician here in reverse and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, also somebody feeling really weak and unsure if they could even manifest this connection back or even if they could work on this connection. Can this connection even be salvaged? That's what I'm getting with the Eight of Pentacles here in reverse. Page of Swords here, you could be dealing with an, uh, Libra, with a Libra, Gemini, uh, Chris. For me, the Page of Swords is somebody whom does not trust easily, okay? Perhaps because these two are in an upright, Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords, some things must have been revealed, okay, because Ten of Swords in reverse here, so some things were being revealed, I feel like it was not something positive, okay, made somebody feeling really unhappy, made somebody feeling like they need to give up on this connection, could be a sense of betrayal, somebody feeling betrayed, may not always mean that, but it could also mean just Mm, feeling like a lot of pain and just unhappy okay that's a separation here for some of you you could be separated from this person for some of you, you could be on your way to separating uh, from this person or going through some issues here okay ten of swords in reverse also can indicate somebody wanting to remove the swords off of you off of your back or somebody is just trying to heal okay and not wanting to look back just wanting to heal because it looks like the queen of swords is you know facing towards the future thinking about the future it could be you Aries just thinking about the future 
and trying to get over this hurt and pain from your past uh, uh, past situation, okay? Um, there's a scenario here, there's a storyline that I'm seeing something must have happened and this ending was super painful, okay? And with the Knight of Wands here, this is actually your energy, Aries, unless you could also be dealing with another fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I feel like this is somebody thinking about mm, taking actions towards you. If you are apart from this person, for some of you, if you're apart from this person physically, this person lives someplace else with the Wheel of Fortune here, uh, they could be trying to, or making their way towards you, okay? Could be planning as well with the Page of Swords. To me, sometimes the Swords for me could indicate planning because uh, a lot of thoughts, you know, Swords indicates thoughts, communication, intellect. It could also indicate logic, practicality. And with the Page of Swords looking towards the past over the shoulder, it's almost like, you know, I have, you know, I need to check something out. I need to do some research and because I have got a plan because I want to do something because the reason why I feel like it's a plan of action plan of somebody's plan to take action it's because of the Knight of Wands here because it's a fire sign so fire always takes actions right especially when it's in upright position so with the Wheel of Fortune here I feel Aries this person it could be you or your person okay could be planning on a return because Wheel of Fortune indicates second chances. It could also indicate a, chain, a change, a big change, change of direction. But also Wheel of Fortune generally, Aries, Wheel of Fortune is a very good card and I'm happy to see it here. Uh, even though the rest of the cards here look kind of painful and happy as well. But I feel with the Wheel of Fortune that means tide is changing, okay, things are changing for you guys. Uh, for the better, there is going to be a big change. And you know, with the Wheel of Fortune, the wheel can can turn any way, left or right, right? It's actually a compass. So I feel like also this indicates a choice. Some of you, you, you can make a choice, okay? Or somebody is making a choice to turn the wheel back around to you, okay? So to me, it also looks like a U-turn, okay? So somebody from your past may be thinking about returning, or it could be you thinking about returning somebody from your past. Look, you got Ten of Swords twice here, so uh, I feel like it has been as hurtful for you as it was hurtful for this person, or is still, depending on your situation, if, you're, if this is still a fresh wound, or this has already happened a long time ago, either or, okay? So we've got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So that's a sense of somebody uh, giving up, having given up on this connection, no longer is invest, investing in this connection. Uh, Aries, that's a Virgo and Capricorn Taurus energy here. Somebody, you know, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse could also indicate somebody whom is unstable or disloyal or somebody whom does not want to invest anymore into this connection, not wanting to wait anymore. However, that's a two of ones. I had a feeling about the choice. So number two always indicates a choice, a choice between two person or a it may indicate choice between two, two person or a choice between whether to return or whether to send a message or could be a uh, whatever it is. Is somebody feeling split into two standing at the crossroad. And with this card here, this woman, it doesn't matter woman or man, it's not gender specific, but there's somebody standing at the crossroad and wonder if they should send a message to you, okay, or take actions towards you. Or it could be you feeling this way, should I take actions towards this person? But definitely, this is somebody from the past because Two of Wands is facing the past as does the Knight of Wands here in an upright position. Someone could be wondering as well with the Page of Swords here, will we have a second chance? Can this work? Should I take actions or not? Will it be successful or not? Okay. While we have another energy here that is very, very guarded, okay, guarded, angry, <laughs> And just like, hey, you know, don't think you can treat me however you want to treat me, okay? Could be you or could be your person. Again, roles can be switched here. Anyways, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, subscribe. I'm going to leave you with one playlist on the screen right now. This is the playlist for my second vlog channel. If you're interested, check it out. And also, uh, I'm open for personal readings. If you guys would like to book me, my information is in the description box below. And Aries, I post your videos almost every single day. If you would like to uh, notify every time when I post a video, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. All right, take care, Aries. Bye.